So let's welcome Rachel Weeks to the stage. Let's give it up. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Rachel Weeks. I'm excited to be here. I decided if I ever ran for public office, uh, my slogan would be, that'll take weeks. <laughs> you know. I just want uh, to be real clear with my work ethic, you know, with my constituents. I just want that to be clear. Uh, just get that out there. Uh, I'm also uh, relatively new to Denver. I moved here uh, about six months ago. I think it's weird that I moved to Colorado specifically uh, because I used to be so scared of drugs. Like, so scared. Like, did the D.A.R.E. program just really work? Really work on anybody else? Yeah, uh, for sure. I, I was so scared, and I didn't know anything about them. You know, like, I thought there was, like, four kinds of drugs. Like, arm drugs, nose drugs, lung drugs, and one of them had a spoon, and they were all bad, you know? All of them were so bad. Uh, of course, the worst was marijuana, of course. That's the worst one. Uh, it's a gateway drug, right? You know, one blunt was the key to a prison yard of ne'er-do-wells, just <laughs> huffing bowls and snorting needles. I didn't know what was going on. You know, it's confusing. Uh, I think it was just because uh, the PSAs back then were so weird. Like, I mostly didn't do drugs because I didn't want to disappoint my dog. <laughs> You guys remember that commercial, right? Where there's like a cartoon boy smoking cartoon blunt and there's a cartoon dog who says, you disappoint me. <laughs> like, what? Dog? Dog who sleeps all day and eats whatever he wants? Dog? I have to go to high school and square dance with a limp-handed pervert today. <laughs> Give me this, dog. <laughs> dog, anyway. Uh, Denver rules, I'm glad to be here. Uh, I've had a really great time since I, since I moved to the city. I moved here from Iowa, uh, which I love. Yeah, I love Iowa dearly. Uh, I think it's funny when I tell people that I moved here from Iowa, uh, when I tell people that live in Colorado, they're like, oh my God, <laughs> wow. Wow, just <laughs> congratulations, you know, you did it. <laughs> you made it out of there, you know. You got in your car and you drove on that very well paid for highway and just got right out of there. Wow, <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> it's a kidnapper state or something. Uh, it's not, they're, they're great there. Um, <laughs> they always have questions. They're like, oh wow, Iowa, Iowa. Um, so is your whole system of government pulled pork sandwiches? <laughs> you're like, uh, no, actually, it's passive aggressive smiles. <laughs> it's great, it's great. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, none of you like left your homes today and was like, you know, today, today I wanna see a dumpy Charlize Theron tell jokes and <laughs> Here I am, you know, <laughs> and here you are. So things yeah, are going well for me. <laughs> I like it, I'm glad. Some of you are like Charlize Theron. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, honey, <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> no. You look like Rizzo from Greece, <laughs> you know, yeah. She's the coolest 40 year old high schooler I know though. So she's rad, <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, this haircut is new for me. This is a new thing that I'm working with. Uh, I like it a whole lot, uh, but I've had to make some changes since I cut all my hair off. I started wearing more makeup and more dresses and stuff. You know, I just feel like I have to convince people <laughs> that I'm an adult human woman who likes adult human penises, you know? <laughs> people have questions all the time, so much. You know, I just, I just don't want people to think that my main hobby is like jumping out of bushes and screaming, the patriarchy, you know? <laughs> Like, I just, <laughs> I just want to be so fun. <laughs> I just want to have, just want to have a fun face. <laughs> I just, <laughs> and instead, I just got this haircut. <laughs> it's like a lecture waiting to happen, right? <laughs> they come around corners, I'm like, have, I, have you checked your privilege? <laughs> you know, like, I'm just, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I like it a lot, though. Um, I don't know how to put makeup on. I realized recently I have no idea how to do it. You know, I didn't have like a cool older sister to teach me how it goes. 
Uh, I was supposed to be the cool older sister, right? But I wore light wash flare jeans uh, with an embroidered Chinese dragon down the side. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, my siblings were screwed as well. Uh, <laughs> we just... These days, uh, I guess you could use Pinterest, you know, if you want to figure out how to put your face on. Uh, but it's mostly 13-year-olds cutting their own bangs. Um, and I feel like the other half of Pinterest, like, could have come out of the lifestyle blog of an old bridge troll. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, steal an old wagon wheel, paint it orange, cover it in glass. Now it's a table. <laughs> you know? It's just a weird website. <laughs> it's weird. It's like, save 212 toilet paper tubes, fill it with ground beef and cheese, serve it as appetizers. <laughs> it's just weird, you know? I don't understand. I've been working on uh, sort of a long-term project from Pinterest. I've um, been saving all my toenails and keeping them in a mason jar. Light it from below. <laughs> Watch the lights dance. Yeah, uh, but it's beautiful. <laughs> the textures are really profound. <laughs> you know that's not real, right? <laughs> what if that was real? I just had jars and jars of fingernails and toenails lit in my, come into my apartment. I'm a bridge troll, you know? <laughs> Full disclosure, I did use Pinterest to find this haircut. So, uh, uh, I, I think it's weird to, to use pictures, though, to find your hair, right? You're looking at pictures and you're like, is that, is that a good haircut or just like a hot person? I can't tell, you know, it's hard. <laughs> Because you need to be thoughtful about these things. You're not going to go in for a trim and come out with like a neater face and a thigh gap, you know? <laughs> like I tried. I'd still, I'd still like this. Uh, people are like, Rachel, Rachel, you want a thigh gap that bad? <laughs> go for a jog. You can do it. You could. It's like, no, I won't. I won't do that. Um, I refuse. I'm mostly because I'm worried I might start a fire. Do you understand the amount of friction, the amount of heat that is happening? Has so many good genes lost to these thighs. <laughs> Smokey says only you can prevent thigh fat fires, and I'm doing my part. You know, <laughs> that's what I do. It's for all of you. Um, I'm trying to date. <sighs> yeah. Yep. Mm, no. Uh, it's the worst thing. Are you kidding? Dating is the hardest, terrible thing ever, right? And we just pretend like it's normal and fine. Like, everyone growing up is just like, get out there, you know? Uh, get out there and open your heart. You'll find your one, your one person amongst billions. Like, there's one for you. Just get him. Just go find, find him. Get him in a net or something. I don't know. I don't know how it goes. <laughs> It's like, it's so hard. It's like playing Where's Waldo <laughs> if you don't know what Waldo looks like, right? Right? You don't even get a clue. <laughs> they don't even, they're like, well, he wears a red striped shirt. Like, I don't know that. I don't know if he likes photography or if he like walks with a cane for some reason. <sighs> it's fine. It's hard. You can laugh at it. I'm laughing at it. Uh, a lot of you are like, dear God, she's trying to find Waldo. She thinks it's real. <laughs> it's totally, totally trying to do that. I don't know. I just think dating is so hard. You know, like I had a friend come up to me. She was like, I'm dating this guy, but I don't, I don't know how well it's working out. You know, he's got all these rules for me. And I was like, oh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't have rules for you. You're an adult human woman who likes adult human penises. You can find and make your own rules, girl. Yeah. You know, like a friend. I just, I don't know. And then she said, you're right. The other day, he told me I couldn't eat in his bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, so I had to take it right back. You know, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> we, what? <laughs> you, eat, you eat in another person's bathtub? That's like his tub. That's his, his domain, you know? It's like his plumbing bill like he has to figure out later. Are you kidding? What do you, what do you eat, <laughs> you know? 
She said the weirdest thing. She said, nachos mostly. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. So many loose pieces. Uh, what? <laughs> it's like a, it's a spare jalapeno floating by. Like <laughs> sour cream swirling down the drain. That's so gross. That's so horrible. She goes, no, Rachel, do you think I'm an idiot? <laughs> you put it in a styrofoam container, it floats. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Evil, disgusting genius, my friends. Uh, she's incredible. She's the best. <laughs> I love her dearly. Um, I don't know. I, uh, I used to date, uh, you, know, you know those guys, uh, you know, like douchebags? You know those? I, yeah, I dated those, um, for sure. You know the kind of guys that were just like, they're like, hey, you know. Uh, I scored with a chick last night. I scored. You're like, oh, <laughs> sweetheart, gross. What? Uh, huh. Was she goaltending? Yikes, you know? That's insane. Uh, first of all, if you ever find a woman who is actively defending her vagina against you, get out, get out of there. No, you're not wanted, go away. <laughs> no, you don't want to keep her uh, at, the, at the gates, no. You want like a Walmart greeter, you know? <laughs> Find yourself a lady in a blue polo. Uh, she'll be so happy to see you. Uh, come on in, come on in, you know? Uh, how many stores uh, have, you, have you visited previously? <laughs> you know? That many, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get you a bag, mister. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want you leaving anything behind, right? <laughs> Keep that to yourself. Uh, <laughs> are you finding everything okay? <laughs> I'm here to help, you know? <laughs> sir, 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 okay. Uh, are you finding everything okay? Okay, all right, what you're looking for <laughs> is an ILG <laughs> towards the front. <laughs> Top shelf. That's where that is. <laughs> I'm mostly here to teach, uh, to educate. That's my job. That's my job here. I, uh, I didn't believe in God for a long time. That wasn't something I believed in uh, until uh, Fabio got on a roller coaster and was hit in the face by a goose in real life. In real life, this happened. In real life, Fabio went to Bush Gardens and was hit in the face by waterfowl. That's incredible. That's the only miracle I need to prove the existence of a creator. Um, <laughs> but I don't, I, so I believe in God now, but I don't believe in like the, like the crown and the thorns and the blood, God, like that's a bit much, you know? <laughs> I believe in like a goofy, silly guy, you know? Uh, just like the God who created like platypuses and penises and farts, you know? <laughs> just like a real creative 11-year-old boy of a God. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm into. Like, like if Sid from Toy Story, like if his father loved him, like that's, that's the kind of God I'd worship. <laughs> I mean, because what are we if not spider robots with baby heads <laughs> just clacking through life? I realized that it got weird, um, and some of you weren't prepared for it. <laughs> I thought maybe a Toy Story reference would save it. It did not. Uh, but that's the end of my time. So we're going to end on this weird note, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Hail Sid, thank you. <laughs> I'm Rachel Weeks.